Hey Railheads, if you like model railroads and small town railroad history, you'll love this place. Uh, today I'm here in Rock Hill, South Carolina, about a mile from my house, at the Lowenstein Building. And this is an N-scale diorama set on July 15th, 1953, three years and ten days before I was born. That's when Southern still served the South and cotton was still king. I always say three things built Rock Hill, South Carolina. Cotton, railroads, and hard-working people. This building I'm standing in, which is also shown on the layout way over to the right there, uh, was built in 1953 as part of an expansion of the bleachery uh, mill dating to 1929 which employed 4,800 people at its peak in 1965. At that time, there were 34 textile mills in Rock Hill. Like I said, cotton was king. Now, this is a DC layout, so there's no sound. It's still very cool. It was built a couple of years ago by a fellow named Jim Ferris. And look in the description, I've got a link to a short video where he talks about riding around Rock Hill with a GPS to get the street elevations. And that may seem like overkill, especially in end scale, but Jim's a retired engineer, not the train kind. So that really attests to the overall accuracy of the layout. I also want to give a shout out to Gary Williams and Mac Bailey, a couple local guys that were instrumental in getting this display installed and running. They also provide the upkeep and maintenance and keeping the track clean and the trains running on time. They've got a lot of neat local Southern Railroad memorabilia in cases mounted on the walls. They stick around to the end and I'll do a slideshow. Now here's a good shot of how the trains change direction. It looks like maybe a threaded brass rod coming out of the top of the loco. And the rod hits what looks like an old fashioned tattletale, which rocks back and hits the switch. Pretty cool. Check out all these little cars. Jim made these all from wood and painted them. Pretty smart. 
Imagine buying that many N-scale cars. You can see the layout is in the shape of a T, roughly 13 by 20 feet. 